Hello everyone, so I'm getting a ton of questions on how to bind the throttle, uh, a throttle on a HOTUS so that it works like it did in 3.4.3, and you can do it. There, there's nothing changed that you can't do it now, so it's just a little bit confusing because they're still working on everything. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick here. So you go to your options menu, you go to key bindings, because you need to bind it, Right, you go down here, joystick HOTUS, advanced control configuration, flight movement. You scroll down, the one you're looking for is throttle forward, okay? Not throttle forward back, throttle forward. And this is what you bind your throttle access to. So you double click here, you move your throttle, and it's gonna let you bind it, okay? It's often going to be like Z axis. And then note input three, okay? You need to remember that for the next step. So input three. So now, if I go back, my throttle's gonna be reversed. So now I've got it set really low, but it's trying to go to max. And if I set it really high, it's gonna try to go to zero now, right? So that's not what you want. So let me, let me first stop so I don't die while I'm rebinding it. Okay, so now you go to uh, your options and you go to controls. And then you need to go down here to joystick HOTUS and then the number that corresponded. So remember it was joyst or input three for me. So whatever that number was, that's the one you need to find because that's the correct joystick. Uh, and then you go into here into controls, joystick HOTUS three or whatever your number was. And then you need to find flight straight forward. I know it, do it doesn't say flight throttle forward, but that is for your throttle, okay? And then you just check that to yes to invert it, right? These are inversion settings. So flight straight forward, yes, now it's inverted. So if I go back, I just move my throttle to the 0%, so it's on the aft stop. And look, it's at zero. If I move it a little bit forward, so this is just barely off the stop, so now I'm moving uh, slowly forward, right? Now, so now this is working exactly like it did in 3.4.3, okay? The difference is that because your speed range is so much higher, unless you're using the speed limiter, you can see my previous video for explanation for that, um, but the acceleration might be a little bit lower than before, it's gonna take a while before your speed matches what your input is. Because your input is telling the ship, I wanna go this speed forward. So if I move it to my forward stop, like this, it's gonna take a while before you get up to that speed. If I move it to my aft stop, it's gonna take a while, right? So uh, I think they need to add a UI indication that says where your throttle position currently is, but that's a separate matter. But if you notice like lag, that's why, is because you've got a higher range of speed, but you've got less acceleration than before. So that's, it's not a control issue. Uh, the controls work the same if you bind it like I told you to. It's just that the flight model works differently now. Like the, you know, the, the physics are making it so it takes longer for your ship to comply with your request because it has to thrust. So that's, that's the explanation for that. But if you keep your speed low, you know, it's gonna be more responsive. See if you make little changes. Uh, or you can change your speed limiter. So turn the speed limiter on. If you keep your speed limiter low, then it's gonna uh, feel a lot like it did before. Okay, and so now when I'm at 100% throttle, when I move my throttle 100% of the way forward, See how it doesn't go all the way up? That's because I got my speed limiter on. So that's kind of like, now I'm sort of like at the old uh, space combat maneuvering mode. And then if I move my speed limiter up, now it's more like cruise mode in the previous version. All right, so there you go. That is how you make your throttle work like before. It's not intuitive, I agree, but it's still available to people who like it that way. All right, hope that that helps some people. Thanks, bye.